Hi there. Today we're embarking on a captivating journey as we step back in time to explore the legendary TV series, Bewitched. I'm sure many of you hold fond memories of this classic show. Bewitched is a timeless gem that has left an indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting the series with the entire cast, then and now. We'll uncover the original identities and ages of the talented actors from the show and witness how they've transformed in the year 2023. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of Bewitched Together. Number 1. Elizabeth Montgomery as Samantha Stevens In the blink of an eye, Samantha appears, her captivating presence filling the room. With a playful sparkle in her eyes, she has the ability to bring smiles and warmth. Like a graceful dance between moonlight and shadows, Samantha effortlessly blends her magical skills with the realities of life and love. Elizabeth Montgomery took center stage as Samantha Stevens, a bewitching protagonist attempting the delicate balancing act of being a typical wife to her adoring husband. Despite her best efforts at normalcy, Samantha couldn't resist sprinkling a bit of magic to untangle the everyday snarls in her life. Throughout its run, the show soared to become one of the most beloved TV series of its time, earning Elizabeth Montgomery numerous Emmy and Golden Globe nominations. As the series concluded, Montgomery had become a nationwide symbol of the benevolent witch, Samantha. Post Bewitched she navigated her career path deliberately, seeking roles that would defy any potential typecasting. Before taking on the role in Bewitched, Nicole Kidman had already achieved significant acclaim in her acting career. She secured an Oscar for Best Actress for her compelling performance in The Hours. Kidman's talent and versatility were further recognized when she received critical acclaim for her role in Big Little Lies, a performance that earned her an Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Limited Series or Movie. In the latter part of her career, spanning the last decade or so, Montgomery found a niche in TV movies and miniseries. Despite her consistent appearances, her final Emmy nomination materialized in 1978 for The Awakening Land, NBC 1978. Her enduring commitment to multifaceted roles showcased a career marked by versatility and a steadfast determination to transcend the enchanting image of Samantha Stevens. Samantha Stevens played by Elizabeth Montgomery when she was 31 years old. Sadly, at 8.22 a.m. Pacific time on the morning of May 18, 1995, Montgomery died in her sleep at home eight weeks after her diagnosis and 33 days after her birthday. She was 62 years old. Number two, Dick York as Darren Stevens. Darren, an ambitious and driven advertising executive, is perpetually chasing success in his professional life. However, his carefully structured world takes an unexpected turn when he falls head over heels for Samantha, a bewitching woman endowed with extraordinary powers. He constantly on edge and resolutely practical, didn't quite grasp the magnitude of what he signed up for when he fell in love with Samantha Stevens. Despite his insistence on a magic-free existence, being married to a witch turned out to be a wild roller coaster ride. Throughout the ups and downs, he grappled with the formidable displeasure of his new mother-in-law, Endora. A lanky performer, best recognized for his role as Darren Stevens, the perplexed husband of the nose-twitching witch Samantha in the enduring TV comedy Bewitched, Dick York's career kicked off as a child actor on radio in Chicago. Particularly notable was his portrayal of Jack Armstrong, the all-American boy. Transitioning to Broadway in the mid-1950s, he graced productions like Tea and Sympathy and Bus Stop, establishing his presence. As the 1950s progressed, York made frequent appearances as a guest performer on various TV dramas and series, including memorable stints on The Twilight Zone, Wagon Train, and Alfred Hitchcock Presents. York's versatility across radio, stage, television, and film showcased the breadth of his acting prowess. Darren Stevens played by Dick York when he was 36 years old. 
Sadly, York died of complications from emphysema at Blodgett Hospital in East Grand Rapids, Michigan, on February 20, 1992, at age 63. Number 3. Agnes Moorhead as Endora With a wave of her hand and a sly smile, Endora weaves spells of mischief and enchantment. Her assertiveness crackles in the air, challenging the norms of the mortal realm with her quick wit and razor-sharp tongue. Unfettered by the shackles of conformity, Endora fearlessly embraces her individuality, defiantly defying expectations and charting her own path. Agnes Moorhead brought the character of Endora to life on the show, a fortuitous outcome of a shopping excursion where Elizabeth Montgomery and series director Bill Asher spotted her at Bloomingdale's. Born in 1900, Moorhead ventured into acting in 1941, debuting with the role of Mary Kane in the iconic film Citizen Kane. Beyond a successful film career, she showcased her talents in radio, stage, and television, even making a memorable appearance on an episode of The Twilight Zone. Moorhead possessed that rare ability to steal the spotlight, making her the perfect choice to become the first woman to co-host the Oscars in 1948, alongside Dick Powell. Her career extended until her passing in 1974, culminating with her final role in the TV movie Rex Harrison Presents Stories of Love. Moorhead appeared in a number of television series throughout the late 1950s and early 1960s, but nothing resonated with audiences more than her portrayal of Endora, the witch mother of Elizabeth Montgomery's character, Samantha. She was recognized for her work on the show a number of times, but always claimed that she felt trapped by the role. Endora played by Agnes Moorhead when she was 64 years old. Unfortunately, Moorhead died of uterine cancer on April 30, 1974, in Rochester, Minnesota, aged 73. Number 4. David White as Larry Tate Larry Tate likely has his portrait in the dictionary under the quintessential, albeit somewhat exaggerated, depiction of a businessman. He effortlessly tailors his words to suit the desires of his clients, bending his opinions like a chameleon changes colors if it means sealing a deal. His rhetoric can shift dramatically from one sentence to the next. Despite these quirks, Larry plays a crucial role as a dependable free in to Darin and an encore in the one realm where Darin feels a semblance of control. David White portrayed the character of Larry Tate, serving as a reliable friend to Darren and providing a semblance of control in the midst of a chaotic world. Tate was a recurring character in seasons 1 to 5 and took on a central role in seasons 6 to 8. White's expansive career included notable roles in popular TV shows such as Peter Gunn, The Untouchables, Mission Impossible, and Bonanza, coupled with appearances in two episodes of The Twilight Zone. His talents extended beyond the small screen, as seen in his role as a philandering executive in the 1960 film The Apartment and his contribution to the series Dynasty. David White's versatility and skillful performances left an enduring mark on both television and film. Larry Tate played by David White when he was 13 years old. Sadly, he died of a heart attack on November 27, 1990 in North Hollywood, California, aged 74. Number 5. Aaron Murphy as Tabitha Stevens Tabitha's spirit is born with curiosity, a dancing flame that propels her yearning to delve into the mystical realms just beyond her grasp. Like a fearless explorer, she embarks on a journey into the unknown, greeting each encounter with an unyielding sense of wonder. Tabitha, with her magical lineage, becomes a beacon of curiosity, adding a touch of magic to the ordinary and turning the mundane into something extraordinary. No matter what role, Erin Murphy never failed to cause uncontrollable laughter throughout her film career. Murphy was just a little one when she first graced the screen, triumphing over the competition of heavyweights like Helen Hunt and Jodie Foster to secure her role. While she is best known for her memorable stint in Bewitched, her talents extend beyond, with appearances in various TV movies and series such as Lassie in 1973, 
The Comeback Kids from 2014-2015, and most recently, in TV Therapy 2019, reprising her bewitched character, Tabitha. Venturing beyond the realm of television, Murphy made her mark in over 80 commercials, including a notable detergent advertisement featuring Ronald Reagan. Her versatile career showcases not only her comedic prowess, but also her adaptability across different mediums, leaving an enduring legacy in the world of entertainment. Tabitha Steffens played by Aaron Murphy when she was two years old, and now she is 58 years old. Number six, George Tobias as Abner Kravitz. Abner stands as a skeptic in a world steeped in enchantment, steadfastly rejecting the whimsical as the norm. As an easygoing individual, Abner often finds himself scolding his wife for her nosy tendencies, oblivious to the peculiar occurrences unfolding at the Stevens house. While those around him revel in the wonders of Samantha's magical abilities, Abner refuses to be swept away by the enchantment. Instead, he peeks behind the veil, driven by an unyielding determination to uncover the hidden reality beneath her seemingly perfect facade. And until today, they don't make character actors and character actor careers like that of George Tobias anymore. A large part of the reason for this is the disappearance of the Hollywood studio system, which in its golden age could put people like Tobias under contract and maintain a steady stream of supporting roles. After joining Warner Brothers in the early 1940s, Tobias was soon racking up the credits, most notably in the James Cagney biopic Yankee Doodle Dandy and the Gary Cooper war drama Sergeant York. With the advent of television, Tobias reapplied his skills to the small screen and eventually scored a recurring role in the iconic 1960s TV series Bewitched. It was actually on a sequel to that program, Tabitha, that the actor made his final appearance in 1977. Abner Kravitzer played by George Tobias when he was 64 years old. On February 27, 1980, Tobias died of bladder cancer at age 78 at Cedars Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. Number seven, Casey Rogers as Louise Tate. Behind every great man stands a woman who skillfully steals the spotlight with grace and charm. In this scenario, that woman is Louise Tate, the epitome of the quintessential suburban housewife. Like a radiant star gracing the domestic stage, Louise effortlessly infuses her role with elegance, charm, and sophistication. Her presence enhances the narrative of Larry Tate, a man climbing the ladder of success as she embodies the qualities of a devoted and poised partner in the journey of life. Louise Tate is not just a supporting character, but a shining force in her own right, adding a touch of brilliance to the domestic tableau. Imogene Rogers, a Missouri native, adopted the stage name Laura Elliott when she ventured into Hollywood in 1949. It was under this name that she secured the film role for which she remains best known as Miriam, the unfaithful wife of tennis pro Guy Haynes, Farley Granger, in Alfred Hitchcock's classic thriller, Strangers on a Train. In 1956, she made the professional switch to Casey Rogers, adopting a childhood nickname. From then on, her focus shifted primarily to television. Starting in 1964, Casey Rogers co-starred in the controversial soap opera, Peyton Place. Two years later, she became a part of the bewitched cast as Louise Tate, the wife of the boss, stepping into the role previously held by Irene Vernon. Casey Rogers' career showcases a versatile journey from Hollywood films to television, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Louise Tate played by Casey Rogers when she was 41 years old. Sadly, she then suffered a stroke and died in Los Angeles, California, on July 6, 2006, aged 80. Number 8. Sandra Gould as Gladys Kravitz. Indeed, the saying, curiosity killed the cat but satisfaction brought it back, perfectly encapsulates Gladys Kravitz, whose insatiable curiosity manifests as a nosy and suspicious neighbor. Through each comedic antic and misplaced suspicion, 
Gladys injects a delightful dose of humor and tension into the fabric of Bewitched. Her character adds a captivating element to the intricate dance between magic and mundanity, keeping the audience engaged and entertained. In the world of Bewitched, Gladys Kravitz is the embodiment of curiosity gone hilariously awry, making her an unforgettable and integral part of the enchanting narrative. For five years on Bewitched, Sandra Gould mastered the role of the nosy and bothersome neighbor, a classic character archetype in TV comedy. Although she didn't receive any awards during her run as Gladys Kravitz, her later posthumous accolades from TV Land underscored the enduring impact of her performance on the show. Gould's initial foray into television occurred a decade earlier on the NBC comedy I Married Joan, revolving around the wife of a city judge portrayed by Jim Backus. Her seven-episode stint as Mildred Webster established her as a dependable small-screen comedian. This success paved the way for collaborations with comedy legends such as Lucille Ball, Danny Thomas, and Jack Benny. Notably, her association with Benny had roots in a well-established partnership, having previously worked with the comedian for 15 years on radio. While Gould occasionally played bit parts in features and TV dramas throughout her career, comedy remained her forte until the very end. Sandra Gould's legacy stands as a testament to her comedic prowess and enduring contribution to the world of television. Gladys Kravitz played by Sandra Gould when she was 48 years old. Sadly, Gould died on July 20th, 1999, in Burbank, California, of a stroke following heart surgery three days before her 83rd birthday, number nine. Marion Lorne as Aunt Clara. Much like a box of spells awaiting discovery, Aunt Clara's magical ventures frequently embark on unexpected twists, leaving behind a trail of comedic mishaps and unintended consequences. Her spells, though well-intentioned, often take a whimsical turn, resulting in a comical chaos that delights viewers' funny bones. Despite the unpredictable outcomes, Aunt Clara consistently pours her heart and soul into her magical endeavors, displaying an unwavering determination to make a difference. Lorne was a wide-eyed character actress blessed with a somewhat plummy voice, often cast in amiably befuddled or dotty roles. One of her memorable performances was as the killer's ever-fussing but completely clueless mother in Alfred Hitchcock's Strangers on a Train, 1951. Following Emmy nominations for her work on the NBC sitcoms Mr. Peepers and Sally, and a stint on Gary Moore's popular variety show, Lorne went on to create her most beloved and hilarious characterization as Aunt Clara on the 1960s TV witch-filled sitcom Bewitched. In her role as Aunt Clara, Lorne accidentally conjured up one sitcom mess after another, delivering the most side-splittingly funny double-takes imaginable. Her inspired efforts in the role even earned her an Emmy in one season. Through her wide-eyed charm and comedic prowess, Lorne left an indelible mark on the world of television, especially in the enchanting realm of Bewitched. Aunt Clara played by Marion Lorne when she was 80 years old. Sadly, Lorne appeared in 27 episodes of Bewitched and was not replaced after she died of a heart attack in her Manhattan apartment on May 9, 1968, aged 84. She was 84 years old. Number 10. Bernard Fox as Dr. Bombay. Bernard Fox, a prolific Welsh actor, left an indelible mark on both television and film over his illustrious 50-plus year career. Born in Port Talbot, Glamorgan, Wales in 1927, Fox hailed from a family of stage actors, marking the beginning of his acting journey at an early age. He started working in the theater as a young boy, eventually becoming a stage manager in his early teens with the vision of dedicating his life to the theatrical arts. Fox's career spanned decades with notable roles in iconic shows like Bewitched and Hogan's Heroes as well as a memorably appearance in the blockbuster movie Titanic. His versatility allowed him to transition smoothly through the changing landscape of the entertainment industry. In the late 90s, 
well into his 70s, Fox experienced a late career resurgence with significant parts in two major films of the decade, Titanic and The Mummy, in 1999. Despite already being in his 70s, Fox's career took an upswing in the late 90s, with notable roles in blockbuster films like Titanic and The Mummy in 1999. He concluded his screen acting career shortly after the turn of the century, with his final credited role on the sitcom Dharma and Greg. Bernard Fox's enduring contributions to the world of entertainment solidify his legacy as a beloved and versatile actor. Dr. Bombay played by Bernard Fox when he was 43 years old. Sadly, on the morning of 14th December 2016, Fox died of heart failure at Valley Presbyterian Hospital in Van Nuys, California. He was 89 years old. Number 11, Mabel Albertson as Phyllis Stevens. In the intricate mosaic of life, Phyllis's presence contributes to a portrait of unconditional love and unwavering devotion. She personifies the essence of a mother's love, a guiding beacon of light that illuminates even the darkest corners of uncertainty. In the tapestry of existence, Phyllis's nurturing spirit weaves threads of compassion and care, creating a lasting impression of warmth and support. Phyllis Stevens played by Mabel Albertson when she was 63 years old. Mabel Albertson died on September 28, 1982, of Alzheimer's disease at St. John's Hospital after suffering seven years of poor health in Santa Monica, California, at the age of 81. We reflect on the incredible journey of Bewitched cast from 1964 to 1972. Witnessing their growth and transformations, it's evident that the bond forged during those years has left an enduring legacy. From thrilling highway pursuits to heartwarming moments, these actors brought the California Highway Patrol to life. Their stories continue to resonate with fans around the world. As we explore their then and now, we celebrate the enduring impact of Bewitched. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic trip down the California highways with the remarkable Bewitched cast of yesteryear.